Okay, so I'm at HQ today at Let's Golf in Hawley, and I'm here with Matthew Scott, who's a personal trainer, golf specific. So we're gonna do a short video here on the setup. In particular, we're gonna focus on the pelvis and the control of the pelvis, allowing the golfer to address the golf ball in the right position with the correct spine angle at address. Right, okay, tonight I'm here with Matthew Scott at Let's Golf in Hawley, and we're gonna be talking about golfers and their posture, and some other positions that we see golfers get into in their setup, which could compromise their ability to make a golf swing. Matt's a personal trainer who who's specializes in, in golf swing um, conditioning as well. So, first of all, we're gonna talk about we're going to talk about the pelvis and we're going to talk about how the golfer sets up in their posture. So I often see this and Matt you probably see it being a good golfer yourself, yeah. seeing golfers at Cottesmore at your club. Yeah, definitely know what you're going to say. And poor <laughs> yeah. postures. So the first one, the common one, so if I come around this side, is when we start to see the golfer sitting in the good old C posture. Definitely this sort of C shape here, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, plenty of those. Okay, and then the next posture we see when the golfer has almost too much, too much tilt going on, and then we see the S posture as well. So, as I see it, that's a pelvic control issue, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely, definitely can be. So, uh, also upper back as well. Okay. Definitely, definitely pelvis uh, and awareness and control of the pelvis, yeah. Okay. So what can the golfer do then? To, uh, is there a test a golfer can do? Because we've got guys watching this, guys and girls watching yeah. this. Is there something they can do to see whether they've got control? So we do the pelvic tilt test, okay. uh, which is a great test, great awareness drill as well in itself. So you can just put your hands on the side of your pelvis and you can tip your pelvis forwards and then tip it backwards. So tipping my belt buckle down towards the ground and then up towards the ceiling. Okay. Uh, so you should be able to move backwards and forwards, should be able to have that awareness of what you're doing as well. Okay. However, most people will struggle with that one. Uh, so let's go through a few exercises to help. Okay. So the first one is just trying to do that exercise in itself, just trying to pelvic tilt. If you're struggling from standing up, you can do it laying on the ground. So that's what I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate here. So you can lay on the ground from here, and all I'm doing is that pelvic tip motion. So I'm going to arch my back away from the floor, and then flatten my back down towards the floor. So I'm tipping my pelvis forwards, and tipping it backwards, okay? So this, again, might be difficult for people to understand what they're trying to do here. So it's flattening your back down, and then arching your back away, and tipping the pelvis backwards, and tipping it forwards. Okay. Okay. The next one we can do uh, from the floor is a cat-dog exercise. So again, a good spinal awareness exercise, good for that sort of mobility and pelvic control too. So, on all fours, knees below your hips and hands below the shoulders. So, firstly, you should be starting with nice straight back posture. Then all we're going to do is we're going to arch your whole back and look up. So we're going to get extension through the whole back. And you're going to tuck your bum under, then push your back up, tucking your chin in, and then move some slowly from one position to the next. Okay. So often people, people struggle uh, with awareness on knowing where their back is, so it's good to use a mirror maybe with this drill as well. Um, but good for mobility, good for pelvic awareness, but also good for that upper back posture as well, especially with those C, postures, uh, C posture people. Okay. Uh, another one then, so let's go through dead bugs, okay? So it's important to be able to use the core to keep that pelvis in the right position. So we're going to okay. go some dead bugs, so I'm going to lay down here. So laying onto your back, okay, so spine in nice neutral position, stomach lightly braced, and all we're going to do is lower one leg down towards the floor, making sure that the back doesn't arch away, okay, you're keeping this position here, and then back up, and then the same the other side, back down, under control, and then back up. So the idea with this drill was that we keep the pelvis still, nice and stable, so we're using the core muscles around here to do that, nice and controlled on the way down, and then back up, and then repeating with that side. There, so that's a dead bug. Okay. 
Another exercise, okay, important to get the glutes working, okay, to keep good posture during the setup position and to be able to control the pelvis. So simple glute bridges. So again, laying down, hands across the chest, feet close to your bum and feet together. All you're gonna do is squeeze your bum, bridge your hips up as high as you can, pause for a second, back down and relax, then repeat from there. So squeeze your bum, bridge your hips up as high as you can, back down and relax. Okay, so that's got your glutes, we've got the core, we've got a little bit of awareness as well with okay. the cat dogs and uh, even just practicing the pelvic tilt, uh, tilt test itself. Perfect. Okay, so for good posture, Matt's given you some excellent exercises and a very good awareness test. So to get in that ideal athletic position that we want to see at address, there's some really good exercises there, simple exercises that you don't need any apparatus or tools do to home. do. Yeah, Simply do it on a bit of floor space at home. Thanks, Matt. Just do.